Most people are familiar with national black history, but the achievements and challenges faced by the African-American community here in our region are not so well known, even by Riverside County residents. However, a little research uncovers stories of remarkable accomplishments. Records show that Mormons migrating to the area in 1851 brought slaves with them, many of whom eventually became the region's first black residents. The daughter of one of those slaves, Alice Rowan Johnson, became the county's first black college graduate in 1888, and then California's first black certified teacher in a public school. Nathan Harrison is the region's first African-American homesteader who was believed to have arrived with his master during the California Gold Rush. He emancipated and eventually established a homestead on Palomar Mountain. From 1880 to 1919, a popular pastime for many was to travel to the mountain to meet him. Anza Valley was initially known as Hamilton Plain, named after James Hamilton, the first resident who wasn't a Native American. He came to the valley in 1873, just 12 years after the Emancipation Proclamation. He became a well-respected rancher, and his son, Frank Hamilton, was a Riverside County constable killed in the line of duty. Today, Anza's Hamilton Creek and Hamilton High School are named in his family's honor. The 20th century was the time of many important developments. In 1921, Frank Johnson, the husband of teacher Alice Rowan Johnson, sued the city of Riverside for banning blacks from the Fairmount Park pool. He later took a census of registered voters that led to African Americans being included on Riverside juries. Dora Nelson, who had once been a slave, started the first black church in Paris in 1924. The city has a museum named in her honor and it is the only African American art and history museum between Los Angeles and San Diego. In the 1920s, Lake Elsinore was a big draw to many who wanted to enjoy the lake and hot springs healing waters. George Brown's parents arrived during that time, becoming one of the first black families to settle in Lake Elsinore. George was recently honored with an NAACP Legacy Award, acknowledging his achievements, which included being the first black equipment operator for Riverside County and the state of California. America's civil rights movement sought an end to institutionalize racial discrimination. In 1965, the fight for equal rights came to Riverside and San Bernardino, where African Americans and Mexican Americans pressured schools to integrate. In September of that year, after the burning of a black school, the Riverside School District began busing students of color to white schools becoming the nation's first large district to integrate without a court order. As we moved into a new millennium, there were more firsts for the black community. In 2000, Judge Richard T. Fields became the first African-American selected to be presiding judge over Riverside County's 69 judges and commissioners. Chuck Washington, served as the first black mayor of Temecula in 2007 and 2012. And then, in 2015, he was Riverside County's first African American to serve on Riverside County's Board of Supervisors. The county's African American owned businesses also thrived during this time. From 2007 to 2012, the number of Black-owned businesses in Riverside and San Bernardino counties increased by 24.3%. We were only able to scratch the surface of our region's Black history. I encourage you to explore all the stories that are out there. You can find more at Riverside's African American Historical Society and the Hamilton Museum in Anza when it reopens, of course. Also, Spirit of Innovation will be revisiting this topic in the future.